Donald Trump was all set to give a press conference to address the issues of the conflicts of interest that he has as he prepares to take office and yet still run all of these companies that do business all over the world. Obviously, uh, the United States Constitution says that a president uh, cannot have these conflicts of interest. So if he does not divest from these corporations, if he does not give complete control over to someone else, the day he takes office, he is immediately in violation of the U.S. Constitution and therefore subject to impeachment on day one. So Donald Trump decides he's going to come out. He's going to give this grand press conference. He's going to tell everybody his plan to make sure this doesn't happen. And then he cancels the press conference, says, you know what? Give me about a month or so to try to figure this out. Um, Donald Trump, you don't really have a month. In fact, you only have about a month and maybe a couple of extra days. It's too late, buddy. This is something you should have thought about the day you announced that you were running for president. It's too late. Don't think that the Democratic Party, journalists, uh, all progressive activists are not going to be looking for any kind of connection that you still have with your businesses the day you take office. Because if there's even one, you're in violation of the Constitution. That is a very clear case for impeachment. And I hope they find a link. I hope they get you out of office as soon as possible. Let's see if we can make you serve a shorter term than William Henry Harrison. He went 30 days. I'm betting we can get Trump out of there impeached, possibly even in prison in 20 days. Come on, we can do it. We know this guy's not smart enough to give up all of his business interests. Plus he doesn't want to give up any kind of control like that. We could absolutely make this happen because we know that Donald Trump is not going to take responsibility like he should. He never does. He never has. He never will. So that is my, my call to action there is I want progressives to stay on this issue. It's already very clear that if things go the way they currently are, Donald Trump will be in violation of the U.S. Constitution on day one. And that's what we have to be able to prove. That's what we have to stay on top of. And that's what we're going to have to do in order to get this man out of office. Now, trust me, Mike Pence is really not any better, but Donald Trump is a thermonuclear disaster waiting to happen. At least Mike Pence doesn't have Donald Trump's arrogance and his ambivalence. I mean, uh, 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 we, we could prevent Mike Pence from starting a nuclear war. I don't think we could do the same with Donald Trump. So his canceling of this press conference is just further proof that he has no idea what he's going to do. And that opens a window for progressives. If they choose to stay on this issue, they could get him out of office if they can find out that he hasn't divested from all of his companies.